This is an example of one of the training videos in our FileMaker certification preparation course at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. This lesson covers the go to related record script step. The help file has quite a bit of information. It's quite long in the description and options. So let's just see if we can summarize this by going to a layout specifically for this. So we have our contacts people table here and we're related to contacts here just very easily with a allow creation of records and we want to go to related records and there's a specific script step now you can put it in the portal but what if we put it out here we'll see how that works but let's just start with this we'll do a single step and we will type gtrr for go to related record and we have a lot of options here so if we double click this we have our table occurrence that we can do and we're doing the people contacts relationship we have a choice of which layout we want to see those records in and let's just choose the contact methods it does only bring up the layouts associated with that table occurrence which is very helpful then you, and you can also choose external table uh, layouts if you have those connected result options you can show in a new window or you can stay in the current window so we won't check that at the moment we'll show only related records and now we have an option of match current record only or all records and we're in the portal so we'll just do this one first and I guess we can see what happens with an animation so we just have one step and we're in this one layout so we will click this and it goes to that related record only two and they were only two in the portal and if we go to the second one if we click that it does go to that specific record in the two all very simple so let's make a change and we'll make this to show all records in current found set and we'll save that so we have four records in the current found set so if we click this now it's going to eight records and it still went to that specific record but it has a total of eight so let's go to the layout again we've done both of those but what if we put it outside of the portal we'll do the same format here go to related record we have the same dialog box so we can still click that and choose the same layout let's do show in new window which gives us a lot of other options here kind of like the new window script step which we'll cover that in a different lesson you can name the window and so forth but we'll just continue on and we still have the show related record options but the animation is no longer available if you're going to a new window so we'll click ok and we'll save all of these and we'll click our button and it goes to two records just like we expected so let's look at one more scenario here we have several but this one actually has no related records this is only here because we have uh, add records as needed but if we click on this one what will happen it actually goes nowhere if we click this it goes nowhere it stays right here and we're in a new window here because it made that second window so let's try this again and it goes to the new window when there was a related record but if there's no related record it doesn't do anything so now let's look at a couple of the notes that weren't demonstrated when the script step opens a new window the new window doesn't activate the on first window open script trigger or on window open script trigger the sort order is not maintained if the related records are in an external file 
if this script step is performed in the context of a filtered portals row and the show only related records option is set, only the filtered records are in the new found set. However, if the focus is not in the filtered portals row, the new found set can include all the related records, not just the filtered records. And they give some examples here, but we will actually cover an example in the next lesson because the study guide has a question regarding this particular script step. And that covers the go to related record script step. I hope you enjoyed this sample from our FileMaker certification preparation course. Visit ProductiveComputingUniversity.com for more information about the certification preparation course and other training to help you save time as a FileMaker developer.